Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Sherry Trimble, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. What do you think would make a great state aircraft? How about the Pisaki PV-2? It was one of the first helicopters built in Morton in 1943. Unfortunately, its manufacturing was soon moved out of Pennsylvania. What about the 1940 Nipper Crusader? It was one of the first planes to have a tricycle landing gear. The museum displays the only model. Unfortunately, production was halted during World War II. So what is our state aircraft? Look above the Nipper. It's the Piper J-3 Cub. The General Assembly selected it on June 26, 2014. This bright yellow plane has quite a history. It started in 1927 with the Taylor Brothers Aircraft Manufacturing Company of Rochester, New York. A year later, William Piper invested in the company and moved them to a larger facility in Bradford, PA. With the Great Depression of 1933, Taylor Brothers sold the company to Piper for only $761. Piper changed how the company operated. He built a simple to operate, low cost private airplane that would still make a profit, earning him the nickname of the Henry Ford of Aviation. After a fire in 1937, the company moved to an abandoned silk mill in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, and started construction on its most successful model, the J3 Cub. From 1937 to 1947, they built almost 20,000 planes. By 1940, Piper had made a few adjustments for military use. They added a plexiglass skylight and rear windows to the J-3 for better visibility and painted it drab olive green. It was called the L-4 and nicknamed the Grasshopper. They built almost 6,000 grasshoppers for the U.S. Armed Forces during World War II. The Grasshopper was used primarily as a training plane for the civilian pilot training program. Around 60,000 or 75% of U.S. combat pilots were trained in the L-4. The Grasshopper was used for search and rescue, to spot enemy position, courier missions, and to ferry officers and wounded soldiers. After the war, production took a steep decline, making less than half their yearly total. With two-thirds of its workforce laid off, Piper changed their production line to create a more family-friendly four-seat line of planes, such as the PA-14 Family Cruiser, a new twin-engine Apache, and the agricultural aircraft called the Pawnee. Piper never found a model as popular as the Cub and by 1984, the Lock Haven factory was closed. The company was sold and moved to Lakeland, Florida. Let's take a closer look at the J-3 Cub. The name Cub comes from the original engine and the first planes made by Taylor. Those engines were called a Tiger Kitten. Therefore, its baby was the Cub. And the logo soon followed. The first colors were blue, green, red, and silver but the yellow model was the most popular. They even nicknamed the color Cub Yellow. In 1940, a Piper J3 Cub sold for $1,325. At this time, a family car cost around $800. The plane only weighed 925 pounds due to the steel frame being covered with a painted fabric. The propeller is made of wood. It only has two seats. If alone, the pilot needs to sit in the back seat to better balance the plane. The plane has no electrical parts and no built-in radio. There are only five instruments. The pressure gauge measures how much power the engine is producing. The altimeter measures the altitude of the plane. It tracks oil temperature to see how hot the engine is running. And the tachometer measures speed. The antenna in the front of the windshield is the gas gauge. It has a cork that floats on the top of the fuel. When the cork goes the whole way down, you know you're out of fuel. The flying range of the Piper Cub is about 225 miles. It can fly as fast as 85 miles per hour, 
but prefers to cruise at 60 miles per hour. The Cub can fly as high as 12,000 feet, provides a much nicer flight around 800 feet. The J-3, like most airplanes of the time, had its third wheel in the back. This type of wheel layout is called a tail dragger. The Piper J-3 Cub was affordable and enjoyable for so many that there are still groups of pilots that fly them today. To learn more, visit our webpage for more information. I hope you enjoy learning about Pennsylvania State Aircraft, the Piper J-3 Cub.